1116 Betsy Kling over at uh, we call that the BAM. This is the BAM. Yes, it's a big monitor. You yep. Figure out the other stuff. It's a big one. Yes. Definitely. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> Boy, Russ, you really teed me up with that one. No, I didn't. You, just, you go right ahead. You go right this ahead. This is approximately the size of the coffee I'll be drinking tomorrow morning as well. So as you can see, everything is proportional here, people. Uh, actually, the best news of all is that we will be seeing sunshine tomorrow in the morning. Temperatures in the 60s. Just a phenomenal weekend really setting up. We're now in the 60s across most of the northern part of our uh, of our area, our viewing area with our counties up here uh, closer to the lake. Still some 70s farther to the south. All of us will be cooling off as we go through the night tonight. Relatively drier air is here and that's helping to kind of chill us out a little bit. But as you look out to the west here in the central plain states, you can't help but see that big area of orange where temperatures are still in the 80s at this hour. Uh, we will see that air coming in as we head through the weekend. The general push is going to be coming at us from the west. In the meantime, however, we have clear skies around us, and that means a beautiful Saturday is setting up. Sunday won't be too shabby either, but we will start to pump in the heat. We will be pumping in the humidity too. As far as tomorrow and your National Design Mart hour by hour forecast, a little bit different view for you. Temperatures are going to start off close to the 70 degree mark and very quickly warm. We'll be up in the 80s as we head through the afternoon. I think peak temperatures will be about 85 or so, probably a little bit cooler along the lake shore. But as we get into the evening, then things are going to start to settle down. We'll get back into the 70s. Just a very comfortable Saturday setting up for us. Now tomorrow the 510 tribe start looks to be phenomenal. More sunshine. Temperatures expected to be in the low 80s and that sunny sky uh, will continue for us. Now we're going to go kind of in depth here on your outlook as far as universal windows direct forecast goes because there's plenty of uh, information to glean from this. 80 85 with sunny skies. You saw it. Hold on. It'll come back magically. Uh, but it is 85. There it is. Sunny skies expected for tomorrow. Then there's Sunday. Remember that big slice of orange in the central plain states. That's the heat that's coming back. We'll be into the 90s then as we get into Sunday. As Sunday marches along, clouds are going to start to roll in. That's going to thicken as we get into Sunday night. And by Monday, we have a chance for some shower and thunderstorms to get in here. The problem with Monday is that that's really going to be the apex of the heat and the humidity. So it's going to be a little thick once again. But Big cold front comes through, knocks us back into the very seasonable low 80s as we go through Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, even stretching into Friday and then looking ahead to next weekend as well. Still very summery looking forecast for everybody. We're going partly cloudy skies on Saturday with temperatures in the mid 80s. We'll pinch into the upper 80s then as we get into Sunday. That then carries over into Monday as well. But really, we're not looking at any major storm systems to hang our hats on as far as rain chances. We need the rain, so rest we will certainly be looking for the chances uh, as we get farther and farther down the road. Yeah, but overall, what a nice forecast. I mean, this is think think February. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, yes. think March, think April when it was gray and cloudy and chilly and yeah. damp. And part of May as well. There you go. <laughs> this is what we wanted. All right, Betsy. Betsy the BAM. Thank you.